In this video, I'm gonna try and do something that I haven't done in a video before, and that is to make it more interactive. I'm gonna have you help me create a design for a t-shirt by picking the colors and the shapes. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanted to do something totally different that I've never done before. And that is to get you to help me design a t-shirt. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna go into an affinity designer. I'm gonna show you five different shapes and five different colors. And you can follow along, you can make this pattern yourself. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you comment in this video picking a color and a shape and the first 72 comments, I'm gonna put them together and see what happens, kind of a random pattern. So I'm not gonna decide the order of the colors and the shapes, you guys are in the comments and I'll show you how to do this in Affinity Designer if you wanna create one for yourself. But the one I'm gonna show you at the end, uh, maybe for the next video, there'll have to be a part two for this video, uh, it will be with all the comments. So let's get into Affinity Designer and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here I am in Affinity Designer. You can see I have uh, five shapes here. I'll show you how to make each of these shapes. And I pick these five colors right here. So uh, in the comments, you're gonna say shape one, color one, or shape two, color five, something like that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do these so you can do it for yourself if you want. The first shape is a circle. The best way to do the circle is just to come here and use the ellipse tool and you know hold down shift and boom, you can make it the right size. Now all of these are gonna be the same size so that I can fit this square right here. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So that's the shape. Um, the other shape is this one right here. And this is just using this shape, the pie tool. I'll show you how to do it. So click on the pie tool, it's down here. And then once you have it, you can do it like this. Hold down shift as well to make sure that it's a perfect circle. And then you can change these angles here. So if you wanna start at a different spot, you know, you can start at zero and then change this to maybe make it 90 degrees instead. And boom, you got that. And then once you have that, you can just rotate it for the other ones, right? Very simple. So if you wanna start it at a different spot, let's say you wanna start it at 90. Let's see right there, whoops. Might have to type in 90. Let's do 90, you can type it in too. And then make sure that this is 90 as well. Boom, and then you got that side and so on. So you can start again and again. So I've, I've done that for these and I converted these to, to um, curves. So, oops, I should have showed you. Come back here and then you can convert to curves and now it's just that one spot, right? And then that can be the right size. So these squares right here, I, I did 72 squares and each of those squares are, let's see the size, um, 540.9, you can do 541, whatever it is. Uh, I just wanted it to fit here. So this is what you would do. Make your circle 540.9, make these 540.9 and so on, all of these, right? And then we'll just put them in here and put them in there. So you can see there's 72 squares because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, across and then nine down, right? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start putting these in here. So this is how I'm gonna do it. We'll just put it right there, start that, and then just randomly, you know, pick another shape. Maybe it's this one right here. And then just to keep it uh, the same, I'm gonna make that white and then pick another random shape. So I'm gonna take this out here you know, put this in here and so on. And then we'll just go keep making random shapes. Of course, you're gonna give me your shapes and colors, um, but right now I'm just showing you how you would do it just randomly. And then it would turn out something like this by using the random shapes. You can see um, just no rhyme or reason. In fact, it's gonna be very different, especially when you give me the shapes. I'll put in the shapes first and then I'm gonna color them. So uh, this is what it would look like if it's colored, I'll back up here like that. Really cool, right? And then what does that look like on a t-shirt? Well, this is uh, the black t-shirt and then it's just a geometric pattern. You could use any five shapes. I'm just using these five shapes um, 
you know, randomly, you could make one of these a star, you could make one of these a square, you could make one of these whatever you want, right? Uh, just as long as they fit in this square shape. It could be a triangle, half a triangle, uh, or a diamond, or I think I've done tutorials like this before, but I, I just wanted to pick these five because they're really easy to do. And then these colors right here, I just picked them off of coolers. You can go and make your own um, coolers palette, right? Go to coolers dot co c o o l o r uh, s dot c o and then you can find your own color palette it can be whatever as well too i, I just picked any any colors here so uh, if you're going to do this for yourself pick five shapes random shapes pick five colors random colors and then just start placing them in the squares it's just really easy it takes a little while but you can see the first thing i would do is add the shapes like this just at random you can see there's no rhyme or reason um, in fact the more random the better right so you can see I don't have circles in every one of these I kind of spaced them out this way and that way um, and then the colors same thing sometimes the colors touch sometimes they don't right and then that's all you got to do so here's the challenge for you guys in the comments this is what I want to see from you guys uh, if you want to put shape, just put shape, uh, colon, and pick one of these colors, one through five, and then color, colon, one through five. So it should look like this. Let me, let me do one as a comment. So shape, and let's make this smaller. So shape, four, uh, color, two right whatever it is or it can be shape one color one or it could be shape five uh, color one it doesn't matter whatever you pick I'm gonna put it into the design and I'm gonna do a part two and I'm gonna show you the difference between this one and the one that you guys are making or at least picking for me and we'll see which one was better in part two we'll kind of vote should I put this one on a t-shirt should I put the other one actually with print on demand it doesn't matter because we can put both on there it doesn't cost any more to put the other one on there and maybe we'll put both and see which one gets the most sales uh, it is Q4 out of these now typically geometric patterns don't sell really well they probably will sell better on something like Redbubble than Merch by Amazon or something like uh, designed by humans where it's more artsy kind of people are looking for t-shirts on Merch by Amazon, they really want kind of like big words and, and funny stuff. And this is neither. There's no words and it's not really that funny. So, um, but I think it would be a fun to kind of see what random kind of shapes and colors uh, we'll come up with um, with comments. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of comments you get from here. Make sure to put yours. I'm hoping you only need to comment once. Typically, I get about 70 comments. So if you're one of those that love to comment, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Uh, I think it will turn out really good. And uh, sometime next week, I will post, I will do the design, do another video and show you what I came up with after doing the different comments. And I think it'll be fun, little interactive thing. So that is it for this video, very short, but if you wanted to do your own, you can see, follow these steps and you can do your own random one as well. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see part two of this where I show you uh, the design that comes up with all the comments from the 70, first 72 comments. So the question of the day for this video, tell me your favorite shape and your favorite color. Leave those in the comments. Uh, one through five, of course, don't pick six or 10 or just a random shape. Pick one of those shapes that I showed you and one of those colors that I showed you. And hopefully we get enough comments that I can make a design with all of those. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more videos about Affinity Designer and different geometric patterns, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one, bye.